Hello, and welcome to today's A Daily Beard. I'm Jason Fox, aka Lee Klaus Beard, and let's get after it, shall we? You should always focus group creative, assuming your goal is creative that satisfies 30 people. Ah, the focus group, the bane of every creative's existence, and anyone who actually loves great advertising. Now, I have nothing against focus groups in particular. I actually have a marketing degree, I know. I'm not sure any of it's valid anymore because I got it so long ago, but I know about focus groups. I ran some focus groups when I was in college for, you know, a lovely project. I understand their value in research and different things, but as far as evaluating creative goes, yeah, because there's nothing like showing something. I mean, it's like having clients. You show people something and ask them their opinion. What is the natural human instinct? It's to criticize. Now, there's the occasional person whose natural instinct is to find something good. That person is usually a kindergarten teacher. It's just how they are. God bless them. They make life better for a lot of people. But otherwise, they're going to kind of rip it apart, especially if they know which ad you're talking about. If you didn't sneak it through, sneak it in with a lot of you know, other ads from competitors or just from, you know, random ads and ask for recall and whatnot. But if you're really testing something, that's not a test. That's asking for an opinion from a very small uh, set of people. And I chose 30 people because n equals 30 makes something statistically significant. But in this case, I don't believe it makes it statistically significant when you're going to roll a campaign out to tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. You, as an agency and as the client, should have a better feel for your own customers and the marketplace. Yes, there, there can be, you know, slight tests, A-B testing. I say those are still even done uh, more successfully out in the marketplace. That costs money, which is why people do things like this. It's the hedge bets. Well, you spent so much time hedging your bet that instead you, you know, you hedged out any amount of interest that people might have in the ad because it's been so watered down, beaten down, modified because of Nancy, who wouldn't shut up about how the shrimp looked too shiny. Don't do that. I'm Jason Fox. Have a good day. Enjoy some shrimp.